we're rolling around on the golf cart at these kind of events, I usually try to find something that's different or stands out. And today, I ran into Dr. D, who's doing some pinstriping at this event. He's not, you know, making the cars come to him. He's actually doing them while they're parked here in, what, about 100 degree heat? Well, somewhere in there. It's not too bad. <laughs> Close to 100. Is your paint drying quickly? It's drying very quickly, gumming up in the brush a little bit, but it's uh, the humidity makes it fine. The people make it even better. So, Dr. D, what I'm noticing is uh, I think I've seen you do three cars since we've been here today, um, and you're doing a little bit of Von Dutch type uh, striping. Is that what your you, your specialty is? Absolutely. The old st old school hand-drawn pen striping. Grab your brush, fill it with paint, and just run with it, and trying to keep the tradition alive. It's just a, another, it's a, a dying art that just, just got to keep going. It's too, these cars are too classy enough to have something that's original on them. Yeah, it's like a little bit of added jewelry or something, but it, it really draws my attention in when I see the stripes. And so how do you determine or do you work with the owner on um, like the shape of the stripe or the pattern? Um, fortunate, I'm, I've been very fortunate that almost everybody that I have done work for has pretty much seen my work in the, ahead of time and just said, run with it. They might have a color suggestion or something like that. Like this gentleman here that I'm doing now, he says, there, just do it. And he walks away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's your dream, isn't it? Absolutely. And I've God has blessed me with a talented hand and a good personality and people trust me and give them a good work for a good price and couldn't ask for more. That's awesome. So how many cars have you done today? Um, this is my third one today and got a fourth one waiting around the corner in the shade. Thank goodness. Oh, that'll be nice on the paint and you. <laughs> Absolutely. But being from Florida, you know, I'm dealing with the humidity, so the heat really doesn't bother me that much. And the humidity is next to nothing here, so it's a pleasure to work in it. Not a problem at all. So how are you enjoying the Somerset cruise? Oh, it's my first time here, and I absolutely love it. I'm going to try to get back for the September one, and if everything goes right, I'll be here through the, throughout the whole year next year for, for all their events. Well, that's awesome. If anybody needs your car striped, come here to this event, and you can run into Dr. D, and he'll do it at the show, which I think is really, really cool. So for you, when you do your striping, um, do you do... Uh, like a variation each car or just whatever kind of strikes you absolutely um try to keep it try to keep it different there's only so many things you can do with 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 the striping but if you have something like a hood ornament or lettering or something on the car that you have to go around you can add a little extra flair extra curves you know you try to make them all different every pinstriper has their own style that they stick to and you might see the same thing repeated over and over on a car but if you really look closer at those cars, they'll all have a little bit of variation here and there. So do you mind when people admire your work like kind of over your shoulder or would you just prefer they just keep walking? Don't mind it at all. Um, if there's nobody standing over my shoulder saying good or bad, I think that I'm, I think that I'm missing something. I'm doing something wrong. I, I love the crowds. I love the people. Um, no, it doesn't bother me a bit. Well, we're going to admire your work for a little while if that's all right with you. Thank you very much. I want to get on this one, finish this one, and move on to the next. Hey, enjoy the show.